you raise your hand, we'll bring a mic front around to you. How have you guys adjusted to some of the injuries you've had up front and just kind of the guys rotating in and out different positions throughout the game? I'd just say, I mean, next man up mentality. You know, I mean, I think our whole team has got, you know, injuries all over the board. And, you know, you just got to approach it with the next man up mentality, you know, and uh, just keep rolling. Dylan, on Saturday we saw Trevor make several catches out of the backfield at the end, being an effective pass catcher. What do you feel like that does to this offense to have a running back who's able to not only catch the ball in space but make plays and make explosives with it? Yeah, I mean, I think it opens uh, – Opens up a lot of doors, you know. It gives Carson um, a good, a good guy, an extra man to throw to, you know. And I think that's great for our offense, you know. I mean, Trevor's a great back, and it's just good to see him, you know, finally start to be able to show it on Saturdays, you know. And I mean, he's always shown it, but I mean, it's just good to see it happen. Yeah, on Saturday, Drew Bobo made his first career start. How do you think he did, especially playing next to him? Oh, I'm so proud of Drew. I mean, he. It's such a good job stepping up. You know, I told him this off season, like, I was like, Drew, you know, there's going to be a day, like, you're going to have to, I'm telling you, like, I just knew it. I don't know how I knew it, knew it in my heart, but I just knew that uh, he was going to have to step up, and he did. He did a great job, and um, all of us are so proud of him. I mean, me and Jerry were talking about it yesterday, just so proud of him for stepping up and doing a great job. Hey, Dylan, uh, where do you think you guys are at offensively in terms of, like, hitting your full stride, or, you know, where are you at trying to progress towards that? I wouldn't say we're, we've hit our full stride. I mean, hopefully, you know, the goal is to hit, you want to hit your stride like midway through the year. You know, you want to really start to pick it up right now. And as, uh, as these games go on, um, you know, and I, you know, that, that's our goal is to just keep chopping, keep, keep rolling, keep getting better um, so that we can hit our stride right now, you know, these upcoming games. Then you guys had more success on third down on Saturday. Is it as simple as, you know, it's a different game, different opponent than some of the others? Or do you feel like you guys have made progress when it comes to setting yourselves up better on third down and being able to execute? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a, it's a combination of a few things. You know, you, obviously we prepare really hard. We prepare really well for third down. Um, and kind of like with the last question, you know, you kind of want to hit your stride right now. You know, you kind of want to get uh, the, the ball rolling fast. Um, around this time of year. And um, I think, you know, we're starting to do so. You know, we're starting to uh, open it up. Yeah, Chaz said something similar about wanting to compete later in the year. I guess what is the, the challenge of keeping that long-term mindset versus also knowing you know, you've got a game to win every Saturday against a different opponent? Yeah, I mean, every day is a new day, you know. Um, you might not play your best game. You might not have your best practice, but, you know, you got a new opportunity tomorrow. You know, and I think, uh, just with, you know, you're guaranteed a certain number of games. And um, outside of that, you're not guaranteed anything, you know. So and I think approaching it with that mindset and knowing, like, everything is earned, you know, um, is a big part of just keep, keep, keep going, you know, keeping the ball rolling. Yeah, you obviously played in that Alabama environment a couple of weeks ago, which was, was pretty intense, I think, especially earlier. Uh, and then... This past week was kind of a, a dead second half for Sanford Stadium. So how, how does crowd noise, you know, it's kind of the crowd being into it, does it, does it affect you whether you're away or home? Are you aware of it? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm normally fully locked into the game. Um, one thing I notice is, like, our crowd travels well. You know, we travel so well. And uh, I know we as players really, really appreciate that, you know. And um, But Saturday, I mean, I was, I was locked into the game. You know, I mean, I'm – Focus on what I have to do, and um, yeah, that's really it. What stands out from the Mississippi State home film? What have you seen from them? What do you think they're playing attack will be? Yeah, they got some big guys. Um, they look physical. I mean, I haven't. We today we start our prep, and um, yesterday I went up, saw some little bits of the scouting report. And uh, number one I, thing that I could say is, you know, they're big, they're physical, um, they play hard. You know. Another question for Dylan. What was it like uh, coming off uh, the field after after the game and, and starting to see some other scores um, come in from around the league and see some some ranked teams going going down around you and 
what do you think that means, uh, you know, for the league and for the rest of the year? It's a competitive league, you know. Um, there's this whole league is just it's full of great teams, you know, and um, it's it's highly highly competitive. And you know, I know us as a team, we're focused on us. We're focused on the opponent that we have. Um, we're focused on week to week what we have to do, and um, that's really all I have to say. It's just competitive. Any more for Dylan? All right, Dylan. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Thanks Dylan. Dylan.